So good morning, everybody. My name is Isabel Fish. I am the founder of Rupigal. We specialize in travel and events around craft and uh, art. And today I'm delighted to welcome you for a conversation with uh, Mr. Honma Hideaki, who is a bamboo artist based in Japan on Sado Island. And also we have with us uh, Margot Toma, who is the owner of Thai Modern which is a gallery con um, based in Santa Fe in the States, specializing in American contemporary art and in bamboo art. So welcome everybody. Margot, if maybe we can uh, start with you, do you want to tell us how the gallery started and how you came about to, uh, to become the, uh, the owner and uh, the uh, main curator? Of course, um, the gallery started actually um, well, we date its origin back to 1997, but in some ways it started years earlier. Uh, its founders were Rob Coughland and Mary Kallenberg. And Mary was a textiles curator at LACMA turned private dealer. And one of her uh, clients collected textiles and also happened to collect bamboo baskets. And um, at the time, Rob was uh, selling Newman's own salad dressing to the Japanese. Uh, he was in the food business. And so uh, Mary's client, Lloyd Coatson, um, asked him to keep an eye out for any good baskets he might see when he went on his trips to Japan. And I think uh, Rob took this brief and became very enthusiastic about it and started searching out these these artists living in small country towns and discovered that they had this amazing body of work that had built up over years that no one seemed very interested in. And so he started showing it in the States and discovered that people loved it. And that's sort of how the gallery got its start. I came in uh, years later in 2014, I acquired the gallery. Um, Robert had to step back after Mary became ill. And I had another gallery in Santa Fe and had always admired what Ty did. Um, there was no other gallery quite like it in the world. And I wanted to, to see it live on. So um, I kind of dove in the deep end and really fell in love with the art form. And so, and you, you travel yourself. Um, here we are. You travel yourself to all the uh, to Japan and to meet the artists and to discover them. Yes, um, I think last year uh, Koichi and I traveled to Japan four times, which was quite a lot. But it's usually maybe three three times a year. Mm -hmm. And only Japan, or um, do you go to other Asian countries? Um, we have a very specific focus. It's a uh, Japanese bamboo art only. Um, although I would love to learn more about uh, the baskets they're making in other countries. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not less familiar. Business development opportunities here. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> thank you, um, Margot. I'd like now to turn and bring in uh, Mr. Honma Hideaki. Uh, good morning, Mr. Honma. How are you? Oh, good evening for you. It's uh, uh, 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> so, this is the first time I've been here. So, I'm going to go to the next one. So, I'm going to go to the next one. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Nice to meet all of you. Thank you.、Um, my first question to you,、uh, Mr. Honma, is. How did you fall in love with bamboo and why bamboo? えっと、まず一番初めの質問なんですけれども、なぜあの竹の仕事をあのなぜ竹が好きになったのか、あのなぜ竹の仕事を始めるようになったのか、そのあたりからちょっとお話しくださればありがたいです。はい。えっと私十八で、えー、高校卒業してから。航空自衛隊に10年近く勤務してました。で、uh, はい。First of all,、um, after I completed my high school, 
I served for the Japan Air Self Defense Force uh, before becoming bamboo artist. So after serving for 10 or so years, I came back to Sado Island and uh, that's when my grandfather, one of my grandfather passed away. で、えっと、本間和明、私の叔父になるんですけども、叔父のところ、叔父の仕事が竹工芸をしていて、祖父も竹工芸をしておりました。So I was adopted by one of my uncle, Honma Kazaki, who is a uh, very well-known bamboo artist. And uh, um, my grandfather, as well as my father, also engaged in bamboo art. So uh, bamboo was everywhere since I was uh, small. えっと、祖父の家は、え、お墓とか、仏様を守るために、え、孫の私が入って、本間和明のところに子供がいなかったので、おじの養子に入りました。so because Homa Kazaki, my uncle didn't have any children. So um, I was adopted to Homa family and became heirs to family's bamboo business. That's basically how I started uh, what I'm doing now. But I think that from our previous conversation, he indicated that he always had bamboo in his life and, and uh, he already had a, a deep affinity for the, the material. Is that right? あの、えっと、前回打ち合わせの時に、あの、え、本間さんはあの、小さい頃から竹で遊んだりとか、そういうこともされていたっていうお話を聞いたんですけれども、そのあたりもちょっとお話いただけますか? こちらの方では小さい頃からあの竹っていうのが身近にありまして、え、ゴムボールで野球をやるのは竹でバットを作ります。Yes, that's indeed true that uh um on this island all the kids uh who play with bamboo like uh when I was small I often play baseball and the uh, the butt we used was made out of bamboo and uh we played with bamboo uh ever since uh I was a child. Mm, fantastic. Um bamboo is a very specific uh, material and there are different type of bamboos. Can you show us maybe different kind of bamboos and tell us a little bit about when one should be harvested? and when one is used with versus an, another kind? あの、日本にはいろんな竹があるとあの聞いておりますけれども、少しあのどういう竹があるのかあのご説明していただけますか。あのもしサンプルがあればあの見せていただければありがたいです。日本で一番あの、ポピュラーというかあるのがマケ。Yes, uh, probably the most well-known type of Japanese bamboo is called Madake bamboo, which is this one I'm holding. And uh, this is another type of bamboo called black bamboo, or sometimes called purple bamboo because of the natural patina it has. This is a much skinnier bamboo, as you can see. あとあの、作品に使ってます。根曲がりだけというのは作品に近づけて見せましょうか? And uh, I would also like to show you an, uh, another type of bamboo, uh, which is nemagari uh, dwarf bamboo. I often use this to make my artwork. And when I show you 
artwork later, I can uh, point it out. Or would you like to see it now? Yeah, let's have a look now. Maybe we can have a look at the pieces and understand okay. how they are built and the, the process. じゃあ、すみませんあの作品一つ根曲がりだけを使われているのを見て撮って見せていただけますか。この竹が根曲がりだけ。It's and he, he has to fold it and bend it. Can you take us through the process of uh, shaping it? あの、この、え、根曲がりだけをこう曲げるっていうのはどのように曲げるんですか?それからあの作品をこう作る工程みたいなものを教えていただけますか?はい、えっと、今の作品は、え、根曲がりだけというのを染色して、so uh, the piece I just showed you, the frame part, that's uh, that's what the uh, uh, nemagari bamboo is. I immerse the other that part of bamboo into the dye bath to give uh, uh, certain color, uh, the color which I would like to uh, express. で、曲げるのはどういうふうにするんですか。曲げるのは文前バーナーという炎で曲げるんですけども and uh, I use uh Bunsen burner uh open flame and uh, uh I slowly bent the stiff bamboo and make that curvature with the heat through the heat with the heat the yes correct and and the inspiration for the shape of uh, such a piece, for example, can you take us tell us where that's coming from? え、今見せていただいたあの作品なんですけども、このどういうところからその作品のこうアイディアというか発想が生まれたんでしょうか。えっと、今年初めての作品で私今え60 Yes, uh, this piece uh, is one of my uh, uh, latest sculpture. I created this to, in a way, celebrate my own 60th birthday. Uh, 60th birthday in Japan or in Japanese culture is very important. Um, it is a uh, it signifies a person who makes a complete cycle from when he or she was born. In Japanese uh, calendar, uh, to get into a little bit in detail, has 60 combination of 10 calendar signs and 12 Chinese zodiac and 60 year, complete year the cycle. Well, happy birthday. <笑>おめでとうございます。誕生日ということです。それで円になった作品で考えて一応まあ鳥をイメージした作品なんですけども、根曲がりだけをぐるっと曲げた骨格に松葉網という編み方で作品を作りました。So <笑> the idea uh was to make a uh, circle which complete the other uh, this 60 year cycle so um it's like uh painting a single uh painting a circle with single stroke um and also uh the form itself it also an uh, abstract form of bird flying a uh, flying in circle so uh i used nemagari dwarf bamboo to make a, a circular frame and i started to weave to uh fill up the other uh, uh space so 
I mean, that's that's fascinating story because my next question was going to be about um, the state of mind of the artist when he is weaving from the videos that uh, we saw and the conversations we had. It's hours and hours sitting in the same position, being almost contemplative of the work and the motion and the process is... Um, repetitive and, and um, uh, very, I think, meditative. Now, when he's weaving something that represents his life, where does his mind go? そうですね。あの前回あのこうビデオを動画を送っていただいたのをあの拝見したときに、やっぱり作業中、特にあのこう編んでる作業っていうのは本当にもうあのこう永遠に続くかのようなあの繰り返し繰り返し。あの同じあの工程を繰り返していくそういう時にこの作家の,そのこう気持ちっていうのはどういう状態になるんですかいやあのただ集中して作業を延々と続けてるだけです。あのその時にこう心に何か浮かぶとかそういうことは特にはないですかえっ、ー、とですねこれをこうしたらもうちょっと面白い作品になるかなとかはあの次につながる発見をこうな何かをしたいというような気持ちは持って作品作ってます。うん uh, the creation of bamboo は demands a lot of patience and、uh, while I'm、uh, working on a piece For instance, weaving,、uh, uh, plating my work, it's sort of like a、uh, never ending、uh, process. You have to do the same、uh, movement, same、uh, procedure almost endlessly. And at the same time, my mind always goes that how can I? Improve,、uh, what can I do to improve my work? So I'm extremely focused, and uh, uh, at the same time, I'm trying to uh, be uh, creative to make uh, my work uh, better. Is the,、uh, the fact that he was、um, in, in the army before, in the Air Force before, which requires, I think, a lot of precision and、um, exactitude, is that in contrast with what is happening with bamboo art, which he has explained to us before and, and now again is, is never 100% perfect? There is always that striving for perfection. Do you think that? That was a good,、uh, maybe a, a good、uh, training terrain to be in the Air Force before to always want to do things so right and exact, and,、mm. and now doing the same in bamboo. あのまあ以前ですねあのこう完璧を狙ってあの作業は始めけれど始めるけれどもどうしても人間のやることだから 100% 完璧にいくということはありえないというあのお話をされてましたけれどもそ,のえそれでもやっぱり自分のこうえ最高のものを作ろうというあのところそれからあの細かいところにあの注意をするというのは例えばあのかあの以前に竹の仕事に入る前にそのあの航空自衛隊にあのいられてそこでの,そのトレーニングというか訓練が今の仕事に役立ってるっていうところはあるんですかはいあの航空自衛隊といっても私土木だったので、うん、いろんなあの作業とかいろんな経験をしてましてそれが作品作りの工程にうまく利用したりとか、えー、段取りそういうものが仕事の中で生かされていると思います。あ、uh,、Yes、what you said is really true that I feel my previous training really helped me、uh, to make art now.、Uh, I was,、uh, I did、uh, civil engineering work while I was serving and、uh, 
um, the how to prepare, uh, how to make the project going. All those experience I had in the past are uh, definitely helping me now uh, as an artist. Fantastic. Can we have a look at another piece that he has uh, in his studio? And if he can explain to us the process, did he start with a sketch and then um, did he um, um, create then a, a model? Um, any of the pieces that he has in his studio right now? So this あの、あの、今、あの、後ろに持ってきていただいている他の作品はちょっと見せていただきながら、その、え、秀明さんのその作業工程というか作品をこう生み出す過程、あの、初めにこう、え、下書きをするのかどうか、そのあたりをこう、
distinct color. Um, uh, so I think uh, I could say that each one has um, individual style. And are there, are there schools of, of style where, um, you know, there might be a, a movement of several artists that um, um, follow the same, the same style? あとはその何ですかね系統というかこの、えーまあ、作家の師匠がいてお弟子さんたちがいてその一派でこうあの作風が似ているとかあの共通した要素があるっていうことはあるんでしょうか受け継いだその得意な技法というのがあるんで編み方とかあるいは使っている竹それから染色技法、仕上げる技法、これで受け継がれていますので、なんとなく雰囲気が似ているなというところは感じるかと思います。あ、uh,、many traditional artists belongs to a lineage, artistic lineage, and you learn from your master. So artists in the lineage they tend to have Uh, similar uh, similarities. For instance, they use the、uh, same type of bamboo, similar kind of、uh, tonality.、Uh, their work、uh, t e n d to look uh, uh, similar to the others. So each school or the, each lineage has a certain look、uh, right. when it comes to、uh, Work about. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we have a couple of questions here.、Mm-hmm. Uh, Noreen would like to know when does he know that it's time to harvest the bamboo? えーっとですね、質問があの視聴者の方から来てるんですけれども、あの竹はいつあの、時期的にいつの時期に竹を切るんですか、えー、っと佐渡ではだいたい10月、11月、12月ぐらいの秋に切ります。On this island,、uh, bamboo artist, we bamboo artist、uh, normally harvest our bamboo in the months of October, November, and maybe、uh, in December, those three months. And that's because、um, the plants are not ready, or there is, it's just not a good time. So, why is that the time? In the summer, the sun is a little bit of a sun, and the sun is a little bit of a sun, and the sun is a little bit of a sun, and the sun is a little bit of a sun. It's a tradition. And a- Also, there is a, a actual reason s for it too. For instance, bamboo contains a lot of、uh, moisture,、uh, water inside during the month of、uh, during summer. And、uh, fall to the winter, the, bamboo, the water, bamboo does not contain、uh, that much water.、Um- There was,、uh, I'd like that to,、uh, to bring in、uh, Margot and、um, maybe even、uh, David Saylor, who I understand you're a collector. And maybe if I, without putting you too much on the spot, what are you looking for when you go out on your,、um, on your scouting trips or when you are at an exhibit and you decide to buy or select a piece? What, if you were to give Advice to future collectors, what would you tell them to look for?、Um, I'll start.、Uh, I think, in, from the gallery's point of view, almost more than finding a single piece, we're trying to find an artist whose work we believe in and who has their own original voice.、Um, someone whose work is not. A copy of someone else's, or you know, who has something unique to say through, through the medium of bamboo. 
So it's more the artistic intent than the uh, than the uh, technical prize that you're looking for. I'm sorry. It is more the artistic intent than the technical prize you're looking for. Well, you know, it's kind of um, technique uh, or technical skill, particularly with bamboo art, because it's such a difficult medium. Um, I think you need the technical skill to be able to express yourself freely. Otherwise, what you make will be limited by the fact that you can only do certain things. Um, so uh, it often takes a decade for an artist to really be able to express themselves through, media, you know, through bamboo. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to mention also, I noticed that Rolf was uh, attending and he's a super fan of Hideaki's. I think owns many pieces of his work. Well, maybe we can ask Rolf to uh, to share with us. Do you want to uh, share with us what it is that appeals to you so much about Hideaki's work? If you um, unmute yourself, we can hear you. If only if you want to. Uh, we can't hear you. You are muted. I'm going to see if I can. Ima no Hideaki san no. あの、作品をたくさん集めていらっしゃるラルフさんに秀明さんの作品の魅力を聞いてるんですけども、ちょっと今音声が多いになってるので。ロフ、ロフ、ウィカンヒアユ。ドゥユワンツアンミュートヨ
、そうしますとやっぱりこう材料作りに相当時間がかかるということですね。ものすごいかかります。Yes. Um, I don't know, David or Rolf, if you want to unmute yourself and maybe share with us、um, your experience as、uh, collectors and what would you advise a new collector to,、uh, to look for? How did you get into it and, and what are you looking for? David, why don't you? Or, you need to unmute yourself. I can't unmute you. I'm sorry.、Um. I first became attracted to baskets uh, uh, when visiting San Francisco, and I went into a shop called Kuramatsu, which I'm not, I don't think they're、um, uh, in business any longer. It was a couple who really had a passion for um, uh, all things Japanese, I guess, in terms of home decor. And a friend took me there, and this was back in the 70s. And I was just blown away by some of the shapes and、um, uh, textures and、um, you know, the creativity. And so I bought a few baskets there, and then it just became an interest that I've followed. And I suppose, like any collector,、uh, you know, I personally don't look for specific things. I'm just looking for the shape and the texture and the colors. and Uh, the techniques, and、um, you know, I,、uh, I can't say I'm going to look for anything specific. I'm not a serious collector, I'm just uh, uh, an interested collector, I guess.、Uh, I was curious if the artist、uh, harvests his own bamboo, or does he have a source that he goes to to select the different、uh, diameters and colors?、Um, Uh, or does he do everything from raising it to you know,、uh, processing it and then creating with it?、Um, I'd like to know that, I guess.、えーね、David, you know, David, you know, 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 あの作品を購入するかどうかを決めるかっていう話をされてたんですけどもあの秀明さんの質問として秀明さんはその使う竹は全部ご自身であの買うのではなくてご自身であの、えー、竹林に行って切っていらっしゃるのでしょうかというのがまず第一の質問ですねそれとそ,のそうであればその竹を選ぶときに何を見てあの選んでるんですか、太さであるとか、どういうところを見て選ぶのかということです。えっ、ー、と、マダケという竹とメインヤダケという竹は、私の身近で、えー、手に入るので、佐渡で育っている、生息しているので、100% 自分で切りに行って、自分で晒しという仕事をしますし、ないものは他の地方から取り寄せです。あ、uh,、first of all that、uh... I, I would say that a、uh, couple types of bamboo, the timber bamboo I showed you earlier, t h a t big、uh, long bamboo,、uh, those bamboo、uh, grow in Sado Island. So I went to the bamboo forest and harvest my own. And another type of bamboo called Menya bamboo, this is a type of bamboo only. Grows in, on Sado Island. That also I,、uh, I go to forest and harvest my own and do all the process by myself from the,、uh, the harvesting to、uh, boiling the,、uh, the bamboo to reach out oil and、uh, everything else. And some other bamboo,、uh, for instance, black bamboo I showed you earlier, those. Those bamboo do not grow on Sado Island. So I、uh, purchase those bamboo from the area where they grow.、Uh, grow. Thank you.、Um, there's a, there is a question about the exhibit that happened at the Met in 2018.、Uh, Margo, I'm sure that you're very knowledgeable about that. Was、um, uh, Mr. Honma's Pieces where they exhibited there. Maybe you can share about that exceptional exhibition and,、uh, and whether he was part of it. 
um, Hideaki's uh, work was exhibited there. It was actually the poster uh, piece, the one that was on the big banner. So I think um, that was something uh, Hideaki was very proud of, as he should be. As he should be, absolutely. Um, maybe we can ask him if he wants to share with us um, Kochi, can you ask Mr. Hunma if he wants to share with us his experience of being exhibited at the Met and uh, あの、今ですね、あの、メトロポリタンビジネスはい。とても巨大なプリントされた形で自分の作品を見るとえっと一瞬ものすごい驚きでした Yeah, it was a pure shark, you know, seeing that big banner uh, having my uh, work um, It was an incredible experience uh, that I had um, are there any questions? We almost at the end of our um, of our session. I'd like to know if there are questions. Uh, Rolf, if you want to unmute yourself. Um, oh, that's the butter, by the way. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Rolf, can you unmute? I can't do it from here for some reason. Mm. Um, let me see. Um, here we go. Ah, oh, there. Can you hear me now? Yes, perfect. Oh, good. I don't want to bore you uh, because uh, what my predecessor said about uh, collecting is exactly the same feeling I have. But there's a question I've always wanted to ask um, my Hideaki, and that is. Um, how sensitive is bamboo or his work to light and especially sunlight? Because I only have a small house, a relatively small house, and uh, the only room where I can exhibit uh, your work is in a very sunlit area. Now, I put uh, already, um, uh, how do you call it, a, a special glazing to keep out the sun, et cetera, et cetera. But is that, is, is the bamboo work very sensitive to light, especially sunlight? あの、ひでやくさんの作品はあの、たくさん集めてらっしゃるあの、ドイツのロルフ、ラルフさんがからの質問なんですけども、自分があの、こう作品を展示してるところっていうのは、かなりやっぱりあの、外からの光が入る場
UV cut glass uh, will prevent that or not, uh, because I haven't experimented uh, on that. But the, uh, the, um, in general, uh, it's, uh, it's good to avoid too much exposure to direct light. Oh dear, I'll have to have a bigger house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> we have two more questions and mm -hmm. I love it because we always have artists in the, uh, in the audience and they ask these, uh, these technical questions. So I'll start uh, with two. How long after harvesting is bamboo ready to be worked? That's the first question. We'll answer that and then I'll go to the, uh, the next question. その実際にあの材料として使えるようになるまでに、だいたいどのぐらいの期間あのお金がいけないんですか。えっとまだけに関してはあの竹の林の中で切るねあの年齢を見て切ります。ですから秋10月に切ってきて11月ぐらいにさ